impacted by the Iowa HealthLink Managed Care Program. Approximately 98% of all Iowa Medicaid members are a part of the Managed Care Program. Members who are enrolled in the Managed Care Program and who receive their benefits from an MCO are low-income families and children, members in the Iowa Health and Wellness Plan, members receiving long-term care services, home and community-based waivers, Hawkeye members, Medicaid for Employed People with Disabilities, or MEPD, and finally, members who are duly eligible for both Medicaid and Medicare coverage. The remaining 2% of Iowa Medicaid members who remain with Iowa Medicaid fee-for-service are programs where Medicaid already pays the premiums, such as the Health Insurance Premium Payment Program, better known as the HIP program, the Medicaid Savings Program, qualified Medicare beneficiaries and specified low-income Medicare beneficiaries, members receiving three-day emergency assistance, and finally, members who are medically needy determine presumptively eligible or receive retroactive eligibility. Members who are not automatically enrolled in an MCO, although have the option to enroll with an MCO, are members who are currently in the program of all-inclusive care for the elderly, also known as PACE, Similarly, members who identify as American Indians or Alaskan Natives do not transition to the Iowa HealthLink Managed Care Program, however, have the option to enroll if they choose. If members in either of these populations do not choose to enroll with an MCO, they will continue to receive their benefits from Iowa Medicaid fee-for-service. The same core benefits that you receive directly from Iowa Medicaid fee-for-service will continue with your MCO coverage. Eligibility of benefits will also continue to be determined by DHS, and there will be no changes to the current Medicaid application or eligibility process, including waiver lists. Medicaid applications will continue to be processed by DHS and may be completed online, by phone, or in person. After eligibility has been determined by DHS, you are then enrolled into the Managed Care Program. The same benefits that you receive today will continue moving forward with the MCO coverage, along with additional benefits known as value-added services. Each member's core benefits are determined by their eligibility, and each member's eligibility is determined by their application submitted to DHS. There is a Managed Care Covered Benefits Comparison Grid available online, which has further information on the core benefits that you are eligible for in your program. We also have an example of what the Managed Care Covered Benefits Grid on the following slide. If you currently receive dental services through Iowa Medicaid, your dental services will remain with Iowa Medicaid and will not transition to an MCO as they are carved out of this transition. Therefore, Iowa Health and Wellness Plan will continue to use Delta Wellness Plan and Hawkeye members will continue to use Delta Dental for dental services. As discussed in the previous slide, this is an example of the Managed Care Covered Benefits Comparison Grid that is available on our Iowa HealthLink webpage. This grid assists in defining your core benefits that remain unchanged no matter which MCO you choose to enroll with. Again, a member's eligibility is first determined by DHS, and then the member is enrolled in an MCO. Your MCO will not determine your eligibility.